Hello. <laughs> Here we are. Here we are. Okay. So, today we're coming late because we were, we were out working today, minimizing our stuff, selling stuff, and it's been crazy, and it's like 104 degrees outside, and we've been out in the garage, and we were just about passed out on the couch after all of that, and one of our good friends took us up on our request to hold us accountable to for doing videos. For showing video, up and for doing showing videos. Up. So we're so <laughs> grateful that, that she prodded us to do this. Yes, it it's, works. It works. Asking, it's a, I think it's the first time in my life that I asked, like that idea of a buddy system or whatever, to ask for accountability. I've heard about it, but I think I never wanted to because I didn't want to. <laughs> right. But it works. But so. it, wor it works. And so it's kind of a, a we have a, a couple of quick parts we're going to do. It's a, like a two-part lesson, two or three-part lesson. And the, the thing that, that I want to, as soon as she reminded us that we have to do a video today, I immediately, I grabbed the book and it's like, okay, well, where did we leave off? Where did I leave off reading? And it's, it's an interesting coincidence. Because mm -hmm. we believe in coincidences. Because okay. we believe in coincidences. <laughs> There's no such thing. Okay. <laughs> that I picked up the book where I'd left off on page 106. And it's, it's a chapter five. I guess levels it's of relationships. teaching. It's about relationships. That's that's the that's that chapter. It's the chapter right. about relationships. So I'm just going to read a quick one paragraph, and then tell you what it meant to me, and hopefully it makes sense to you guys too. Relationships are assignments. They are part of a vast plan for our enlightenment. The Holy Spirit's blueprint by which each individual soul is led to greater awareness and expanded love. Okay, now I have to put a parenthesis in here that's not in the book. Because I always have to remind myself that she uses words that I don't use in my, you know, when I'm reading directly mm -hmm. out of the book. And words like the Holy Spirit and God and salvation and all that. Those aren't words that I typically use. But when I'm reading directly out of here... That's what resonated with Marianne Williamson, and it does resonate with a lot of people, so I just read directly. And when we read the book. the book, it actually makes sense. Right, right. So, relationships are the Holy Spirit's laboratories in which he brings together people who have maximal opportunity for mutual growth. He appraises who can learn the most from whom at any given time, and then assigns them to each other. Like a giant universal computer, he knows exactly what combination of energies in exactly what context would do the most to further God's plan for salvation. No meetings are accidental. Those who are to meet will meet because together they have the potential for the holy relationship. Now, when I read that, that's the first thing. Like I said, I grabbed the book and read that. And I immediately thought to myself, okay, the relationships, this, the, how the value of relationships aren't just interpersonal close relationships right now in the, in the virtual world that we all live in, these, it, these relationships can be across the world. When you come across someone who is, who, who you resonate with, you, you need to connect with them and help because then that's the opportunity for mutual growth. And it could be mm. someone on a different continent. The internet gives us the opportunity to leverage that for the good of all humanity right now. So the fact that we were reached out, we asked for to be prodded, we got prodded, mm. and then I immediately, I grabbed the book, well, where did I leave off? And then there's the page that, that has exactly the message that I would have chosen if, even if I hadn't needed to be prodded. Okay. <laughs> it's just there's there's magic in that. So in relationships, you have to remember that that uh, you have to encourage that sort of magic. And and it's kind life. of and it's I guess the point is to honor every relationship and honor them. You know they all have their value, 
they come on different scales, but it's, you know, like what we did asking for, um, for um, accountability and then getting it back. It's like, okay, then here's a new commitment. The new commitment is to that other person on the other side who responded to our request and we are in a relationship right and that requires honor and when you actually honor it feels pretty good and i know that i i've been i don't know if i haven't shared that with you but i feel like in this whole process of everything we've been going through we've had people really um connect with us and send us a lot of messages and i've been feeling a little selfish because i feel like we've been taking it in and not reciprocating and I haven't taken the time to really you know reply and engage and all this because I'm 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 involved self-involved right now and <laughs> what's going on with us so so but there is something beautiful in honoring and talking about relationships since that's where Dan went what I came to is page 107 and 108. Hey, that's just the second page. I oh, know. Oh, is that what I see? <laughs> what a coincidence. What a coincidence. And it was that Marianne talks about different levels of relationships, like you mentioned quickly. And I just want, she describes three levels and she talks about them, you know, more in depth, but just generally. The first level of relationship are mostly casual encounters. I'm kind of paraphrasing here. Uh, are mostly casual encounters. So it's like meeting somebody in an elevator. She talks about students walking home, becoming friends, exchanging some things. So that's level one. Level two gets a little bit more involved. And I think we've all had plenty of level twos. And now I'm gonna read what she says about it. Page 108. At the second level of teaching, she says, people are brought together for more intense work. During their time together, they will go through whatever experiences provide them with their next lessons to be learned. When physical proximity no longer supports the highest level of teaching and learning between them, the assignment will call for physical separation. And that's where we see a lot of drama, right? It's hard for people to see that in, in, in the midst of the drama, that it is actually okay that some relationship end. It's because that learning teaching, I guess, is no longer optimal. So she continues on. Often we see a couple who has separated or divorced and look with sadness at the failure of their relationship. But if both people learned they were what they were meant to learn, then that relationship was a success. And then finally, she talks about third level relationships, which is here is what she says about them. And I'm gonna jump from one, page 108 to 109 with just two little excerpts. Third level lifelong relationships are generally few, generally few because their existence implies that those involved have reached a stage simultaneously in which the teaching learning balance is actually perfect. So, and she says that that teaching learning intense, it could be negative or positive or, you know, negative in quotation, but it's just that there's a balance and it's going to be in-depth work. And then she continues to say, just because someone has a lot to teach us, doesn't mean we like them, mm. which is really interesting. And we and all I think, know that one. <laughs> yeah. We know that one. Yeah. People who have the most to teach us are often the ones who reflect back to us the limits to our own capacity to love. Mm. So ain't that the truth? Oh. <laughs> That's that. oh. So today, I guess, having... We just want to honor relationship, the principles and the idea of relationship and the relationship that we've established with some of you and many of you, all of you. Um, and it, yeah, and the relationship doesn't have to be, the internet allows us to have relationships across the continent, across the world, across the, across the globe. So it yeah. isn't just, you yeah. know, it isn't just close personal relationships that all of these lessons pertain to. Mm. And even though something is different when the relationships are not, you know, socially present to one another, the internet and the pandemic right now certainly gives us so, you know, amplifies the, the, the potential 
for meeting people that have something meaningful to teach us to, to, and te vice to teach versa. each other yeah, yeah teaching teach learning yeah absolutely so that's it so thank you for people who responded for our ask to keep us um accountable, accountable. it hmm. worked we're here and we wouldn't be because we were done for the day but we're happy <laughs> to be here so thank you okay we Thanks, love folks. you love you see you soon see ya Bye.